What is up, Insomniacs? Midnight Sun 518 here, back with another awesome upgrade for Sasha, my 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. This one's gonna be sick. So excited, really been looking forward to this. Uh, I was supposed to get it in the mail yesterday, but uh, it did not come. So today we're gonna be uh, installing some stuff from RCI Off-Road. I'm gonna crack into these boxes and then uh, show you what we're working with. And there was another box inside of the box, but this one, we can see into it clearly. 12 inch uh, tall RCI off-road bed rack. And uh, yeah, so these are gonna be attached together to become the three crossbars that go over top the bed itself. And then this bundle right here is gonna be the support bars that go on the very top, as well as the side plates where we can mount all our accessories to. And, I went a step further on RCI. This is actually really what made me choose this bed rack specifically. It's just to kind of keep with the company. But I got a bike hitch. Check it out. Super cool. Literally. So this is also by RCI. We'll crack into this and look at the beautiful manufacturing. Um, it's, a, a, it's a bike mount. So it can sit on the side of the truck. And I can put my mountain bike on there, which would be dope. Which brings me even closer to getting some epic mountain biking footage for you guys because uh, I do so much of that right now. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, let's get all the parts laid out. I'll show you what we're doing. And there it all is laid out. Really not a heck of a lot that goes into it. So once again, we got the uh, bars that are going to sit up on the bed itself, right? Uh, there's a couple little spots where it looks like the power coat um, kind of got a little too too much or had something drip or whatever but uh you know not the end of the world not a big deal um all in all high quality looks great and well i don't know i assume it'll work great we have the top bars here and then these are the plates that are going to go on the side um rci stamped right in there which is cool and uh yep and then the other crossbars as well like and then all the supporting hardware to go with that I don't know what these two plates are for yet. Buttload of nuts and bolts. Um, all the hardware to get these guys mounted into the bed. All right, so for this next step, we're just kind of preparing, right? So we're gonna be taking um, everything out of the track because these are gonna be mounted to the track itself. Now, it doesn't keep you from being able to use it. Um, however, uh, we do need to make sure that there's nothing in it so that we can get spacing and all that sort of stuff. So to start with, we're gonna pop off those little end tabs right here by pushing down on this guy. And bringing it out just like that. We want to hold on to these obviously because we're going to put them back in later. So we can get both of them. And then uh, from there, we got to take out all of our tie downs. So literally, you can push a twist to unscrew it and then you push it in. And if you lift this out just a little bit, you can rotate it and it'll pop right out. So you got this little metal piece right here which sets in sideways right and then when you push on this it extends that's what uh, locks it in place so I'm gonna get all four of these off and then we'll move on to the next step all right so I uh, got all the nuts and stuff laid out these guys are here as like extensions so when you look at the uh, rack like arm itself it is not long enough to reach the rail. Why it was designed that way, I don't know. I assume this is just more universal between trucks. Um, so they sent us these guys right here to act as little extension plates. Um, so we'll be able to get those guys put in there and that'll allow it to reach the bed or the, the rail. But to start out with, uh, we got three of these guys per side. They're gonna be sliding in to the actual rail system. So now we're gonna be building the actual racks themselves so these bars these big ones are uh rectangular right and that gives that little lip at the bottom this little little edge if i cannot break my garage um allows you to slide these right into where the arms are so we're going to do that on both sides here and there you have it it's all slid in and this will allow us to adjust it specifically to the width of the bed. So I'm gonna flip you around and stand up on the bed and mess with this. This guy, just 
gonna kind of rest them in here. We'll move them around once we get there. Mommy. All right. So there you have it. So those are now set in place. So we'll finick with them and move them around. The uh, these guys right here, you can see the slots where they would slide on top of the rack, and uh, those will help us to kind of separate. So we're gonna get those set on top uh, just to get some more adjustments going on, um, and then we'll start putting some screws in. In fact, I probably should put some screws in right now to keep this from falling apart on me. Here, give me a second. Oh, right. Uh, it doesn't look like much has changed. But what I did is I went through and put screws uh, in each of those six holes up top. And then right up underneath, you can see here, uh, I put a regular washer, a lock washer, and then that. And it's very, very hand, hand tight. Not even hand tight. Um, that way we can slide these around as we so choose and desire. Next. I'm going to go and I'm going to get these plates installed. So basically, I'm going to have to run a screw through the back of this guy. You'll be using these ones running through the plate, right? Because the square keeps it from spinning on you. And then this, I'm going to go through the back of that guy. Just like that. These bolts are meant to go through and they're going to screw into this plate right here when we get there. Um, but yeah, so we got this guy right here. And then once again, just like before, we got, can you even see this? A flat washer, a lock washer, and then your nuts. And then move this guy over. All right, he, he was just playing hard to get. Um, it's very sticky in that one. But yeah, so these guys are just like this. So what I'm gonna do now, I think I'm gonna tighten down uh, this plate and then uh, I'm gonna install just like this on the rest of the anchors here. Um, just tightening down this one nut and then uh, yeah, I'll be right back. So real quick, just wanna make sure y'all knew we are using a 14 millimeter in order to tighten these guys down and they are both 14, nice. Perfect. All right, let's do the other one. All right, so now we got all six of them uh, installed. These ones, once again, are tight. These ones are loose. Uh, and that'll allow us to shift the whole thing around. So next, we are going to install these guys, the side plates. Um, so they, once again, rest right along this edge. Um, and then same deal here. We're gonna put screws through and then we'll put a regular washer, a lock washer, and then a nut on the back. Um, and it looks like we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for each plate. Um, and then from there, we'll be starting to tighten stuff down. All right, so uh, brainstorm time. I'm dumb. So I was sitting there and I was looking at this plate, right? And I was thinking to myself, like the RCI logo is there, but it's not like super noticeable, right? I was like, why the heck? Would they design this in such a way that it's blocked effectively, like blacked out by the plate in the back? And then I walked over here and I was looking at all of my tools and I saw these sitting right here. And I thought to myself, now what the heck are those plates for? And then it hit me. This is supposed to go behind that. I'll be right back. It doesn't that look so much better. You can see it from afar too. Oh look, it's raining. All right, I'm gonna get the other side locked up. All right, and it's on there. Um, next, I'm gonna tighten down everything. I'm gonna tighten down, starting with these panel bolts, uh, and then from there, 
I'm gonna do these ones here. And then once all of those are tightened down, I'll make sure these top bars are straight and get them tightened as well. And then as a finishing touch, we're gonna be taking the rest of this still very large assortment of uh, hardware. And we're gonna be putting them in here, four bolts per bar. Um, and so four, eight, 12, Well, despite the rain, I'm going to be installing all the same stuff that I'm these guys. Oh. All right. Now I'm just going to go through and take them all down. These are all tightened down and the bed rack is on there solid. Um, I could not fit a socket up in there, so I had to use my adjustable, which is the worst, but uh, it is what it is. So uh, now we can go ahead and pop these guys back on the ends here. Literally just, whoop, don't drop them. Set them, slide them. Then we can get these guys reinstalled again. Uh, so once again, opposite of how we took them out, right? So you got that metal piece right there. Just kind of line it up with one of those little hole slots there. You can push the circle down, twist. And tighten. And there you have it, the 12 inch RCI off-road uh, overlanding bed rack. All right, so here's all the parts and pieces. We've got the rear tire uh, tray. We've got the front fork, uh, little clip thing in the jig. Uh, it's lockable, right? So we'll put a little lock on it. Um, and then you also got the actual bars themselves. Decided I'm actually going to mount this directly to here for now. Um, if I want to change it up later, and put it like right there on the bar, I might. So I got these on here, finger tight, uh, and I'm gonna get them tightened down real quick. Uh, but after I do that, the next step is we're gonna put use two bolts and get this guy, mount him right here, right? And then this guy and mount him right there. And then uh, that'll be it, so let's, let's do it. Alrighty, well this guy is on here really well in the back, but we have a problem. Those holes and these right here, not these two, these two work just fine, but these, not same, same. They don't fit the screws, that is. And uh, so I don't have screws that will fit. I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some, because there's no hardware included with this kit. So yeah, if you look here, right, screw will fit through that. No worky in that one. To include obviously no worky for that one either but the last step here is we have this little strap and this is just meant to hold the back tire in place right um, I'm sure you can buy little ratchets or something like that however uh, it's not the case here so we have these tiny little slots that we can run these through um, just to make it work. I am just gonna stick with the middle one. Now the convenient thing of it is about RCI is uh, because it's a module, modular rack system, you can literally get another one of these and put it on the other side and have a second mountain bike. That's two. Or you can just buy these bars, right? Along with the, the these, or they had like seven or eight different options of that one, so I don't know. Um, you can mount them on top and you can have like a whole myriad of them you can have like 10 i don't know all right my dudes so here's the view from inside of the truck uh, as you can see the roof rack does impede your vision um out the back window i don't care i bought the shorter roof rack uh for the main purpose of i will be getting a rooftop tent and putting it on top 
and uh, a lot of people that have rooftop tents with the 18 inch rack the one that does not impede your vision like this one does um, say that it's too tall and the with the tent up there there's more drag and your gas mileage and whatnot goes down uh, I don't want to deal with any of that so um, I got the 12 inch so that I can have a rooftop tent on there um, and then once I get my roof rack on that will help with airflow over top of the truck um, and everything will be in line with the top of the rooftop tent so it's a pretty good setup um, but I do lose that little bit of visibility which once again who cares um, not that big of a deal but I'm really happy with it and I'm looking forward to putting it to some use so I went to uh, Lowe's and I got me uh, some hardware um, so same as the rest of the, the rack um, it's the bolts it's a lock washer a flat washer and then the nut I threw on top and these are uh, quarter inch um, nuts or quarter inch bolts uh, is what fits so I think those are three eighths inch and uh, these are a quarter inch so works great it's on there solid looks great excited to get some use out of it all right well there you have it looking pretty good if I do say so myself uh, it was very easy to put together it took me about an hour um, but yeah so there you have it the RCI modular uh, 12 inch one foot overland bed rack um, along with their bike rack that goes on the side as well. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you found it somewhat informative. Um, I did not have instructions with this. Uh, they didn't have any in the box, which was kind of weird. Um, I guess you could go on YouTube. I mean, you are already if you're watching this. Anyways, go on YouTube and uh, get all the information on how to install this thing. But it's really easy to figure out all on your own. And I did do it on my own. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I guess I'll catch you guys on the next go around. I mean, that's it now. Look at me